Welcome back for my daily report analysis videos with me, Richard Permarket Analyst at Handtech on Monday, the 12th of October. Let's have a look at dollar yen, which has had a bit of a reversal of fortunes, I would say, that the, uh, the dollar strengthening move that we've seen in the past two and a half weeks really turned a corner on Thursday. Um, you could, there's an argument to say that's almost an evening doji, uh, sorry, an evening star three candlesticks set up, strong bull candle, consolidation of a doji or there or very small candle body and then a decisive de downside candle. That's a reversal setup which suggests that the bulls have now lost control, they're swinging lower um, in the outlook and it seems as though that the market is turning south once more. Now, I've been saying in the past few months that this, uh, this downtrend um, and breaking the downtrend would mean that this would go into a range play. Um, and subsequently, I think that tends to be what we've seen the market gravitate towards. But however, I think there is still a downside bias and still rather be short than long, I think, on this chart, um, given the fact that the market is still sort of trading underneath falling moving averages you'd, on the balance of that you'd say that you'd be looking to use rallies as a chance to sell within this range, which is essentially now 104 to 107 over the past two, two and a half months. But for now, what we're looking at is the, the market rolling over. The recovery uptrend has been broken or a recovery uptrend that could have been developed has been broken. And uh, it seems as though trend lines are being broken all over the place at the moment. Fairly neutral, I suppose, in that regard. However, I think given the the crossing signals that you're getting and the failure at, at neutral on MACD, I think you'd be sort of erring towards the short side um, if uh, if the move had to be made. Um, the failure at 106 figure, this was a long term pivot line. 106 basically was the, the uh, pivot of a little range that we saw August and September between 105 and 107 and uh, has basically become now the basis of resistance on this rally. So that is clearly an overhead issue that the market would need to get through if the bulls were in control. 106.10 was the uh, couple, of couple of times that was tested on Thursday, Friday, uh, sorry, Wednesday, Thursday last week before decisively turning lower and uh, testing to the downside. 105.40 initial support, but uh, yeah, it could be that uh, the market now drifts back towards 104.90 again. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Go to our website, sign up for our webinars and click to watch Trader Talks, our videos that give you top trading ideas.